But they came... Oh my God, this is the first time that has ever happened. I'm Umar Abdulaziz, I'm 34 and I've been Muslim for four years. I'm from the northeast of England, a small area in the countryside, uh, made up of lots of uh, working class um, Catholics, mainly. I was raised Catholic, my mum and dad were both Catholic. Uh, I didn't really have much of a relationship with the church when I was young. Uh, I did have to go and take my first Holy Communion. I had lessons with nuns and took my first Holy Communion. But then when, as I got older, I never, I wasn't really, uh, I didn't go to church. I didn't have any relationship with God. And um, it, was, it was a very small part of my life, if not non-existent. Uh, I became Muslim at a point in my life when I was quite, uh, I was quite down and in a searching kind of period of my life. I was working hard. Um, I was meeting lots of new people, and some of those people I met, it turned out, were Muslim. Uh, I was amazed by the kind of people that they were. I, was, I wanted to know why they, they were generous and kind. They didn't talk about other people in a derogatory manner. And I was interested in what made them this kind of person. Um, when I asked and approached them, they said, well, we're Muslim. I got a shock. I didn't, I'd never met any Muslims before, as far as I knew. And they asked me, after, after, after a couple of weeks of discussing some little points, they asked if I wanted to come to the mosque. So I came to the mosque, I, I just sat at the back during the prayer, and everything I heard just made sense to me. Everything I kind of, I, I really liked the peace in the prayer, I really liked the way that people went into the prayer, the world on their shoulders, but they came out of the prayer with light coming from them. Um, looked like they had a, a weight off their shoulders, they had a smile on their face, they were peaceful. And, um, and yeah, everything I learned just seemed to make sense. It seemed like the kind of thing that everybody should be doing. Uh, so it wasn't long after that that I became Muslim, maybe um, a, a couple of weeks, couple of months maybe. Um, I took some classes, I um, spoke to some people, I picked some advice, and after that I, I became Muslim, I took my Shahada. I had a few concerns before I became Muslim. I was a bit concerned about how my family would take it. Um, after the way that my, my father and his family are so Catholic, deeply Catholic, that I thought that they might look at it as a rejection of their faith. Um, but with the way that I overcame that was by kind of reassuring myself, or kind of knowing myself, that it was the same God that we were worshipping. And I just found a different way of being able to connect with that God. Um, and even if my family didn't understand that, they would see that through me, that I, I, me being a better person and, uh, and worshipping God. And hopefully in time, my family would see that, that we are worshipping the same God and we have the same ideals, really. I think some of my parents now are good. We have a good relationship. Um, my mum, my mum is very is very comfortable with uh, with me being Muslim. My dad is still not a hundred percent comfortable with it. He, we have a very good relationship. We talk about everything. We just don't talk about Islam. I find it the easiest way to the easiest way to to deal with it is for him to see the the light coming from me, and hopefully in the years to come he'll he'll see that maybe being Muslim isn't such a bad thing after all. I was also concerned that I wouldn't be able to partake in the prayer as much as I wanted to and some of the obligatory actions because I didn't speak Arabic. Uh, I found quite quickly that I, I found ways to learn the, the things I needed to learn. And I found that once I, was, once I had become Muslim, that there's no pressure. There's no pressure to learn Arabic. There's no pressure to speak Arabic. You do what you do in your own way, and the, as soon as you learn something, then, then it's then part of your prayer. So the more you learn, the more it becomes. But just because you don't know the Arabic in the prayer doesn't mean that your prayer isn't accepted. You, just, you learn slowly. And now I've been, I've been Muslim for four years now, like I said, and it's, it's got better and better and easier and easier. And I pick up bits. I can even now, without sitting down to learn Arabic, I can pick up parts of people's conversation in Arabic just from being around and being in it. And I know certain words that I use in the prayer, I pick up in conversations. Learning the meanings of words is really quite easy. And Before I was Muslim, 
I kind of looked at people as certain groups, groups of race, groups of sex, groups of religion. And since becoming Muslim, I kind of look at us all now as one big group of humans and that we all need to look after each other. And those barriers that I thought were there, just, they just don't exist. And I don't know where they came from. But becoming Muslim has made me a lot more compassionate to my fellow man. You know, I, can, I can see anybody for the person they are rather than seeing the barriers that I thought were there before. Uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a massive change and something I reflect on a lot. I don't know how it changed. It wasn't something that was specifically taught to me as being Muslim, but just being a Muslim has, has done that. Also before I was Muslim, I was quite, I was quite unhappy some of the time. Uh, I used to associate with people that I wouldn't consider friends, but I would spend time with these people. Um, uh, since then, I always feel like God has got my back. I always feel you might be having a bad day, might be upset about something, things might be going tough, sometimes they do. But I've always got this knowledge at the back of my mind that God is with me, always. And it's, it's such, so uplifting to know that. Um, I, I don't even know how I did it without how I got by when I wasn't Muslim. So it's, it's very good. Yeah, people can often be concerned about the lifestyle change, but it was, it was something I was actively looking for anyway. I was looking for a different change in my life. I was looking to be, live a healthier, more wholesome lifestyle. And, that's, and I managed that. I, I did that straight away. But because Islam just made sense to me, because everything I read made sense to me, it didn't feel like I was drastically changing. Um, I, I wasn't drastically changing my behavior. I was just doing what made sense. And the, the Quran just basically, it just reminded me, it, it reminded me what was right rather than telling me what to do. So by reading that, I realized, oh, well, of course, that just makes sense. So it was really easy for me to make that change without it feeling like I was making a change. It's the best decision you'll ever make. You'll keep good company, you'll eat well, the light of Islam will come through you, your family will be great, everything's going to be okay.